In this uh, short but important video clip, we're going to test the quality of uh, Swiss balls. Even though different Swiss balls are marketed as anti-burst, there is a big difference in the quality. And if you train with a Swiss ball, that's something you need to know. Swiss ball training is a fantastic way to increase your strength, improve your balance, increase your flexibility, and train your core muscles and all the small stabilizer muscles in your body. But when you train, you want to train safely, and that means investing in a quality Swiss ball. Can you imagine what would happen to your head and your neck and your back if the ball exploded when in this position? If, it, if the ball got cut by some glass or a stone, it's really important that the ball is anti-burst and it deflates slowly and doesn't explode. I often squat in the ball because it's a fantastic way to train the whole body. Think what would happen if the ball exploded when I'm squatting with weight. Now we're going to test the quality of two different anti-burst balls. It's going to be interesting to see if they're both as strong as each other. Now we're going to test how strong the ball is with this uh, screwdriver. Now it could easily be a piece of glass, a stone or anything that's sharp. That's why it's really important before you train in your ball, you make sure you've got no sharp objects on your shoes, Look at the floor, make sure it's clean, make sure there's no glass or stones that can uh, um, puncture the ball. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna puncture it like this. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, not too much, because I know this ball and I've been training on it for, for years, so it's uh, done well. Okay, here goes. Now, that wasn't too bad. As you can see, it's made a little hole, but the ball hasn't ripped. So if I went over something that was uh, sharp when I was standing and squatting or doing an exercise while I was lying on my back, I wouldn't get injured on it. A lot of balls, they just rip and explode. Now we're going to test uh, the other anti-burst ball. Same procedure, puncture it with a uh, screwdriver and let's see what happens. Now I'm a bit nervous because this is a cheaper ball than the other one and I'm not sure how it's going to react. Okay, here goes. Now, can you imagine what would happen if I was standing on this ball, squatting, and it did that? Or if I was lying on my back doing an exercise? I think everybody could see that I would... Uh, hurt myself. This ball is approximately 50% of the price of the Polchek Dura ball that I used the first time. But in my eyes, there's only one that I would choose to train on. Okay, again, we were testing anti-burst balls. This Polchek Dura ball, it's only got a small hole here and a little air has come out, but not a lot. So I would feel safe training on this one. Now, let's have a look at the other one. This is an anti-burst ball, but it exploded. Look at the size of the rip on it. Could you imagine what would have happened if you were training on this ball and it did that? Ow. So my advice is make sure you invest in a quality ball to train on. The money you save is not worth it. You're better having a quality ball that's gonna give you safety.